All right. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? What's or, up? Good afternoon. Good evening. Yeah. Sweet. So We're back. People from all over the place, right? So yeah, people it, from it, around the world. Yeah. So could be could be evening. Could be midnight. Yeah. You should tell us there. Where Where are you visiting us from? Where are you watching us from? Bro? Yeah. Let us know. Uh, Simon, where are you from? Sad Sadhaya. Yeah. Incredible. Harif, Lauren, Mansi. <laughs> We're broadcasting from beautiful San Francisco. Yes. Yes, where it totally wasn't raining. I don't know. Was it, I feel like it was just raining this morning. Yeah. But we have a beautiful view out the, uh, we could see the uh, Golden Gate Bridge out these big, <laughs> yeah, can, you can know, we get 20 a, foot high <laughs> can glass we get a background windows. with the Golden Gate here? Just like a newscast? <laughs> we, we used to. And then we just oh, sit there and go, hey, welcome to Morning, Morning Joe, guys. Yeah. Here we are <laughs> with Pablo Stanley. Day two, man. Day two, Thank episode you. two. Episode two, I'm glad we didn't scare you away and you the, can hang out with us. The Revenge of the Designer. That is really good. He's back. Yeah. Bangalore's in the house. India, it's <clears throat> 9.30 in India, uh, as far away as Croatia. Welcome. California, that's good. So it's morning for you, having some coffee. Yeah. Cape Town, Lawrence. Cape Town's like one of the, has to be one of the coolest cities too. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. yeah it's, that sounds cool. like it's a... Uh, it's a, like they're San Francisco. It's like a lot of artists and really, you know, it's a pretty creative community in um, yeah Cape Town. Cool. Saudi Arabia, seven p.m. Good. Uh, Johannesburg, Joburg, cool to have everybody. Algeria, San Diego, Chim, Portland, Rainy San Diego. Oh, Portland. Sure. That is very cool. Anyone from Mexico? Mexi Mexicanos? No. Mexico. So Mexico. yeah, Pablo. Pablo's from uh, Mexico, from Mexicali. Mexicali, yes. Mexicali. It's uh, <clears throat> and if, if you look closely, it's a combination of two words: uh, Mexico uh, and California. <laughs> oh! It took me it took uh, me a while <laughs> to realize that. Like I was I was like oh my twenties, my late twenties, when I realized, oh. No, uh, I th I think you thought Mexico and California; those names came from Mexicali. Yes. It's the other way around. It's the other way Everything around. started yeah. in your city. So exactly. Well Everything revolves around around me. <laughs> I like it. Well, it does this morning, man. We get we have you for two hours, so that's super fun. Not only you, we we have a ton of uh, some. We're, we're very international this week on Adobe Live. Pablo, we have you for a couple hours, uh, starting a, kind of a new project. Yes. And then we have uh, it looks like Alice, but it's a Elice. Scalfi from Italy, Lex from Russia, Daniel Musa from uh, Kiev, Ukraine. They live yes. here. He's in LA. Uh, <coughs> Lex is actually f lives in Portland now. So everybody's US based, but we have, uh, they all come. You can hear lots of accents today, which I think is fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything's cooler with an accent. That's yeah. why I'm jealous. Everybody here. Brazil. Yeah. You know, you Ukraine's know in the house. Hey, Anton. Awesome. You know, for, for the longest time, I thought I wanted to hide my accent. You know, it's just like I wanted to blend in into, uh, I wanted to be like, hey, don't, I'm not different. I'm just like any other peop person. So you you, uh, you grow up trying to like minimize the amount of accent you have. And then you realize like, oh no, actually the accent is cool. It is now, cool. now I'm doing, I'm, I'm going back. I, I'm trying to bring the accent back. Oh, you're just, you're yeah. just, you're just laying it on. You're laying it on for yeah. the camera. Is that what you're doing today? Yes. He's laying on thick. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, I think. Your I, last name is Stanley. How do, I don't think you could get, <laughs> oh, honestly, like a wider name than Stanley. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like. So, so actually, Stanley, it's, uh, it's not my real name. Oh, really? It's not okay. my real name. It's my artist name. Uh, because oh, okay. it's based on a, uh, we used to have uh, a, an artist in Mexico, like a, a, a TV show a presenter, like a talk show. Mm -hmm. His name was Paco Stanley. And he was really famous. He was just a big celebrity, and he uh, he was assassinated. Oh, really? <laughs> this, this is becoming a really a dark story feel, right feel now, right? Story of the morning. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and this was in the 90s. And anyway, I adopted his. His name was Paco Stanley. And then I said, like, oh. hey, I formed a punk rock band. And we're all called the Dead Stanleys. Oh, wow. And, and then after that, I named myself Pablo Stanley. And then the rest of the band was like Andres Stanley. Oh. Uh, really Mexican names. Yeah. <laughs> really Latin names. Jose but Andres Stanley, Jose Stanley, <laughs> Mauricio Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fascinating. Uh, and, that, and then just like that, that 
that stuck. No. Pa- Pablo Stanley. That's that's my name now. I'm into it. Super unique. You probably yeah. have. That's why you have it. If you're looking for Pablo Stanley on all the social medias. That's why you have Pablo Stanley on yeah, all the now, social medias. Yeah. Now, now I cannot change it. I cannot go back. Yeah, That's it's it. really good. Honestly, new plat. We talked about this the other day. <clears throat> a new new platform pops up like get your name right. Yes. Pablo Stanley, you're able to get that pretty much everywhere, which is cool. So yeah, cool man. So we got so, a, a per- Peru in the house. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Good to see everybody. Uh, we got Zilla Stanley yeah, we in the house. Do, 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 do. We have, we have a fun day a fun day planned. We'll probably review a little bit about you, see what you kind of did yesterday. But also <clears> we have some new stuff planned, which I think is really cool because I yeah. think you're like way like multi talented. And yeah. by the way, for giveaways, we have some fun new giveaways as well: pins and uh, fancy Adobe XD uh, sketchbook that uh, is pretty cool. So. And I'll talk about the challenge in a second. Yeah. Oh, we'll throw a sticker into the mix too. Hey, we'll add stuff. Oh. Adobe Live is feeling generous today. Ooh. Feeling generous, feeling good. More giveaways added to this little pile. Yeah. Oh, we have a challenge. We do have a challenge. We can. I guess we can talk about that real fast. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Yeah, you can always get, get people started. S- yeah. Select the. <clears throat> you're in chat. Go to challenge, and you'd be creating an image sharing web experience. Made in Adobe XD. So an image. Just an image sharing web experience. Yeah. So That I mean, sounds crazy. It's a lot of work. Well, you don't have to, like, build it. Teams dedicate like, to it. Yeah. <laughs> take it. No, no, just, like just an hour. Just uh, no, one an hour person in an hour. One person in an hour. We pretty much talk it out. Chip it. But so, <laughs> so we said web, web experience. Here I have, again, a larger uh, sort of uh, artboard you can see right here. Okay. Uh, this is one thing I do to get started. Just do like repeat grid, Whoa. Brr, brr, and then I grab so dope. images, you know. And like this is a way to kind of get started as as far as like a display of those oh, images to be shared. You just want to show off your skills, dude. That's it's that's not like going. I, you know, didn't have these <laughs> files ready to go or anything. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> it looks so seamless when you. you yeah, you everything. know, you know how you you yeah. wake up on a Wednesday and you make an image sharing Ow. site. Done. Just so, like that. So, giveaway Creative Cloud uh, based on that, but uh, we'll switch to your screen. Yeah, uh, mm. let me uh, let me go over here. I have a, a quick keynote just uh, to see to uh, a little bit about myself. I did talk about myself yesterday, but uh, let's do a recap just uh, for those that don't know me. Uh, I'm Pablo Stanley, and I'm a designer. Uh, yes, for, could believe it or not, I do illustrations. Too. Mm-hmm. A little bit of uh, uh, drawing here and there. Uh, I do uh, crazier illustrations too. Sometimes I turn it, turn my illustrations into zombies. And I also do artsy farsi stuff. Just, I love uh, it. Photoshop. I love Photoshop for that kind of stuff. I also do I write comics. This is what is I, everybody I, taking this in? By the way, like this is really cool stuff. And Thank yeah, you. comics Thank is you. interesting too. Yeah, I, I've been writing comics. Uh, uh, I think since what, since I was a kid, uh, uh, like in, in primary, and in, in, but I just didn't know. Uh, I never read comics though. That's so weird. I you never read, read comics. You didn't read them. I, I didn't read them. I just made them. Huh. And only until recently I started like reading comics. I was like, oh, you know what? If I'm actually making comics, I should probably read some comics. And I started watching uh, uh, reading Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, uh, it's six books. It's uh, it's like a graphic mm-hmm. novel uh, kind of comic too. I watched the movie first, and then I realized that it was based on the comic, and it's so good. I yeah. highly recommend it. Uh, also, Hellboy. Hellboy. Uh, Hellboy is amazing. It's from a Spaniard uh, uh, artist, uh, writer, and an illustrator. He he does that because sometimes you will have someone that writes the comics, mm-hmm. someone that does does illustration, all the drawings, and then someone that that inks it, mm-hmm. like does the actual inking, and then someone that does the coloring. So it's all, uh, I'm, I'm learning that. Yeah, I'm, it's And I'm sharing that, it's, it's so like, cool, it's so cool. And, and uh, Curious as to, we could ask chat, you know, you mentioned <coughs> Hellboy, Scott Pilgrim, curious yeah. as to who, what, what your favorite comic is out there, or comic book chat, so you can always kind of chime in and yeah, kind of read if, those if, off. Yeah, if you have, if, yeah, if you have recommendations, so what, what should I read next? Please, I please read, tell me. I go to the design team. Oh, the design team you I have it there. I do have it right here. <laughs> so yeah, I actually have that. Uh, I have a, a series called the design team, and it's uh, when I, I moved here like uh, three and a half years ago, uh, three no, almost four years ago. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and for me, uh, number one, when I moved here, I, I started learning. I started learning about uh, uh, UX and all of that was new to me because I was more of a graphic designer. So uh, it was all fascinating, the startup culture here and and how design teams work. And it, I started taking it all in. And mm-hmm. then after like two years, three years, I, I started writing this series. Uh, because I, I don't know. It, I think uh, it's, uh, it's 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 re- it has really good material for comedy and for just like a sharing your experience here. Yeah, totally. And it's it's designer related. So I think as we as we look at these, like everybody can like relate. You know, it's like you know. Yeah, uh, it, I think I, I think some of the stuff is very particular to the startup culture too. So so probably some of the things you won't relate. Okay. But yeah, you I've want seen. To know I think a the, bit. the next one, which is. Uh, uh, probably not. This uh, one. I know which one. That is very this one. This oh yeah, is this is our, uh, yeah. This is like uh, going and uh, so. trying to get some <laughs> some funding, getting get some VC. <laughs> We're trying <laughs> to do good in the world. Make this healthcare app. Yeah. Nothing. No, no nothing. response. And then oh. he uses blockchain. <laughs> Here's a take my money. <laughs> <laughs> this this was when blockchain was like super hot, you know. That, that I made that. Uh, now it, it it hasn't aged that well. That comic now. I, I feel like after a couple of weeks, now blockchain is like whatever. It wow, was hot. that came in. That, yeah, wow. Uh, I thought it was still like hot, you, and you, I thought I was in the know. I was gonna it, invest. <laughs> I was gonna invest. I didn't know. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people that will take your money. Yes. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah. So so I've been doing comics, and actually today. Uh, we're going to mix uh, a little bit of those uh, qualities of the illustration with you, with what we're building today mm-hmm. on XD. So we're actually going to incorporate a little bit of illustration on our landing page because that's what we're doing today, a landing page. Uh, I'm pretty excited cool. to share that with you. Yeah, and you know, honestly, like it's, it's it, we don't always have such talented UI designers in that also can you know that meet all the requirements to join us on an illustration stream. To be honest with you, Thank it's you. adorable. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. But yeah. So uh, let me uh, just share uh, uh, really quickly uh, what we're uh, working on today. It's uh, it's for my startup uh, called Carbon Health. It's a healthcare startup. Uh, we're here based in San Francisco, and actually what we're building today, we're, and, and Carbon, we're going through a rebranding and, and rethinking of our landing pages and our product. So actually uh, what we are doing today is probably going to be used on, on, on the real thing. Uh, so we're using real data with, with, uh, with real goals on, on how to approach our customers, our patients, and our doctors. So, uh, so this is gonna be fun. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, by the way, yeah, I have a YouTube channel too. You should go sketch together. Can you see your hair <clears throat> through the years in those videos? Y- yes. I No, and actually it's so weird because like a, I started like a year and a half ago. Uh, and a year and a half ago, like I see those videos and it's, they're so cringy. They're so, I, 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 I am like looking at the camera and it's like, today, today we're going to do this. And then I'm always looking at the camera and just like, like oh, it's, it's so nervous. <laughs> you can see how nervous I am. And, and but you just like it's like everything. You just gotta keep doing, and keep yeah. practicing until yeah. you get a little bit better. You get more comfortable drawing. You get more comfortable with XD. You get more comfortable in front of the camera. It's all about practice. And like I, anything. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, yeah, that's and that's why we have these challenges. It's yeah. Like, hey, just dive in and and <clears throat> get it moving. Yeah, that's true. I I, I think uh, challenges. Even if a lot of people have a. a, a a weird thing against uh, uh, fake uh, uh, projects. Uh, but if you're taking fake projects like this uh, for practice, for getting your skills better, I think it has a ton of value. It just like, uh, the, what other way are you going to start like uh, practicing your skills mm-hmm. and putting together like, and, and it's not just learning the tool, it's also like getting you to think how to solve a problem, how to, who is, who is going to be on the other side using this app? Who is going to be on the other side clicking these buttons? Are they, is it going to be clear enough? Is it going to be uh, uh, helpful for them? You, you gotta start thinking like that too. And I think uh, these kind of challenges are really helpful for that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <coughs> uh, yeah, and so we have we have faith in you, everyone. Okay, enough about me. Yeah. High five. <laughs> like in the... I like the, the sound effect too. Uh, so, so three days of learning. Yesterday we did a, a tab navigation for an iOS app. I think uh, I'm pretty sure that 
that life is is up. You can see it. Uh, I'm going to show it. 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 Oh, I suppose I don't have. Today's oh, menu. That Today's was yesterday's menu. menu. Uh, this is what we did yesterday. We did uh, uh, an iOS, a really quick iOS uh, app, uh, just like three taps uh, with tab navigation and just like, uh, and probably we're going to use some of this today because today we're going to be doing the landing page. Uh, the landing page for the same product. Uh, and for today, we're going to be checking the information architecture or uh, the stuff that we need to, to put on our landing page, uh, the requirements, and also ha have a sketch wireframe just really quickly so I can just like base my design. I can just, I don't just start putting pixels and st like mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Uh, we'll probably do something really fun, a type scale, like using a model scale. Uh, it's something that I, I, I probably share this process with you. Uh, it's something that I really like whenever I'm doing topography. Uh, let's do some basic buttons and forms, making a, make them accessible that anyone can use your forms and buttons. Mm -hmm. Then import some assets, icons, illustration time. So it That's all starts coming together. Like I think after sort of you have the, <coughs> the structure, clear down past the basic buttons, everything starts to... Mm -hmm. Once you have... Uh, I mean, uh, web pages are almost, almost all that. Just images, icons, uh, typography. Mm -hmm. Most of your content is going to be typography, so the typography is going to be uh, getting your typefaces, your fonts, yeah. ni nice and tight is going to be very important, and also making your your actions, your buttons, your forms like really accessible and 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 and, and simple and, and and easy to understand. That's going to be very important too. And then from there, it's just decoration. Okay. Yeah, that's but, uh, the fun. That, stuff. That's then yeah, you get to, to do fun stuff like the illustration, like we're going to, going to do after that, and then put together a landing page, and then probably so we can do some dev hand up. This is really good. So yeah, <coughs> we're, we're yeah. So continue, um, Pablo Stanley everywhere. Uh, shout out looks like Dana Pride says it's her first time trying XD. Yay, for you. Olga Intini, uh, you just installed XD. That's work cool. it, work it, dive That's in, make it happen. So we really appreciate you. So let's open XD. Do we? Uh, by the way, this is what we did yesterday. Just uh, so, so some typography, some icons, uh, and should I just dive in? Yeah. And, and start doing Love something. It. Let's make it happen. So here uh, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to start with web, web, and I have some some uh, basic uh, uh, templates here. Uh, I'm going to start with a bigger one. And no, 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 not open, sorry. Double click here. And then I'm actually going to change it to uh, 1440. I like working with 1440 when I'm beginning. I know a lot of people will say, mobile first. I don't know, I'm I'm old school, I guess. And uh, I'm going to start with a web landing page for a, for a bigger uh, uh, monitor. Then something that I really like here on XE is that you can turn on a layout. And then you just put here on this, once you select an artboard. Mm -hmm. Did you know this? Did you know this? That you can put a layout there. Yeah. Uh, and then you can put columns. Uh, I'm going to leave at 12 columns. I think that, that's a standard. And then I'm going to give the gutter width. I'm going to make it really big. And I usually make it at 12, uh, 32. That's uh, probably too big, right? The gutter. I don't know. I like it 32. And on bootstrap, it's usually the default is 30 pixels. So I like to have an eight pixel grid, so that's why I put it at oh, okay. 32. Yeah. And and you, making it 32 actually gives you the exact pixel size of 1200 pixels. Uh, so there you go, so it's, it's 32 in the middle and 16 pixels on the margin, on the left and on the right. And I can just start putting stuff together. So I think uh, the first thing is uh, probably get my topography right. So I'm going to start with a couple of headers. Uh, headlines, headline. Do you say headline or header? What do, you, uh, what do you say? I don't know. Headline is, is a very like print-esque. It's either one is fine. Yeah, right. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm going to jump into something that I, oh, by the way, probably we should start with this. This is what we're building today. So we're going to do uh, carbon urgent care. Uh, and I usually, uh, sometimes I will jump and before I put any pixels, before I do any type scale or anything, I want to write what I'm going to build, you know, and, and get uh, feedback from different stakeholders. What are the different things that we want to do? And even be, probably even before this, like why are we doing this? What mm -hmm. uh, what is the purpose of all this? What are we trying to accomplish? We already had the discussion. We're not going to have it today. And so this is uh, this is pretty much just the main the, uh, nav, yeah. the main nav uh, on top, and the hero, uh, a hero, and just like uh, some copy. 
and then have a, a, a scheduled widget to so schedule an appointment with your doctor, then a, a condition, like a, mm. have some uh, shortcuts to also to schedule an appointment, when in, but in a different way, like a specific, I have an abdominal pain, I have a cold flu, I have a concussion, boom, straight to the concussion uh, reason and get you get you a doctor right away. Because this is uh, actually an urgent care uh, site. So you want to get your uh, your patients as soon as possible, get them with a doctor. Uh, because they're, they're probably in pain, they're probably in, they're probably a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. So you want to reduce that, that anxiety in, in the landing page. You want to get them feel like they're in the right place and they're going to be taken care of right away. Uh, so uh, the types of services, now you start scrolling more, and then now it's more like okay, let's let's talk a little bit more about us. Probably this wasn't convincing enough. This yeah, is, you know, good. It, I, I, yeah, no, I think it's great. I, I'm glad you're diving into like the types of services secondarily because yeah. <clears> the <throat> companies do it all wrong as they think about themselves first. Yeah, and you're obviously from the user first. Like yeah. What, what the benefits? You're putting the benefits first. Yes. As a, so that's perfect. Yeah, and 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 this one is still like linking to like the types of services you can get. You know what? Hey, if you want to do it, uh, if you want to walk in, let's do that. Or if you want to, uh, if you want us to go to you, like we can also do a home visit, or we can meet online. We can do a video chat too. So those are the three things. And mm -hmm. now we start talking about our app. Only until here, like four blocks down. We start talking really about like, okay, you can download an app, and mm -hmm. this these are the benefits of the app. You know, yeah. we're not, not only we're talking about ourselves only until like, like four that. blocks in, and then at the end another CTA. We're also thinking probably we could add reviews if we have time, just that to give a, a little bit of a, reduce that anxiety too. Are these guys legit? Yeah. You don't want to go to a doctor that mm -hmm. does has three stars on Yelp. You know, yeah. so. Uh, uh, you want to, like, no, seriously. Yeah, it, yeah. Sometimes you have to do it because you don't have the time and you don't have the, uh, uh, you just need to be taken care of. Uh, but here uh, it will give you the confidence that, hey, other people, this is what other people are saying. So, and then a CTA, again, take you to an appointment. Love it. And, <clears throat> okay, cool. So th those are the things. Let's just start actually building a, a or type skill. I don't know if, uh, have you ever heard of a modular type skill? No. So if you search modular type scale, you're going to search, uh, you're going to find why it's important or why it's cool. Uh, and there are different uh, tools out there. Uh, I really like uh, this one, type-scale.com. Uh, and this allows you to create uh, a little bit more, uh, how, how do you say it, like more uh, a, a, a scale of your font sizes in a more, uh, more beautiful way, I suppose, uh, using a different scale. So, for example, here uh, on an augmented fort, mm -hmm. you start with a base. I usually start with a base of 16 pixels. That's my paragraph uh, text size. And okay. then I will go to probably I can do an augmented fort or perfect fort. It's a little bit smaller. The the, the differences Better. between the headlines yeah. is a little bit smaller. Or I can go all the way to golden ratio. It's oh. probably the most famous uh, ratio that out there. But it creates really the, the differences between one headline style to the other, it's mm -hmm. super big. Uh, so if you want that contrast, I would recommend going into a golden ratio or probably a perfect fit. Uh, but I actually, I really like the augmented fort. I think it has that it, it, enough balance, enough contrast between one headline and the next one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one headline one, uh, the bigger one, and then the second one on the hierarchy. I think the augmented fort has enough uh, enough contrast as you can see this one is more important than this and so on and all the way until a paragraph so like this uh, I, I uh, am going to uh, something else this is one tool another one that I like it's uh, I think it's grid lover that does the same but now you can see it with text mm -hmm. over here you can say what is the uh, the font size you start at six a 16, and then the scale factor, you can also change it here. Golden okay. ratio, golden section, or paper box. Is everybody anyway, seeing this? Yeah, uh, this is pretty cool before you even start like putting it together because we're going to create a style guide on XD. So it's yeah. good to uh, have these kind of uh, tools. I've never used this before, and I'm, I'm into go. it. Now, makes makes now, it easy. Yeah, so now uh, I'm going to, uh, 16 pixels is the first one, so that's my paragraph. I'm going to close this thing. Let's go to XD. Uh, let's. Uh, 
let's uh, let's just do, start doing a paragraph. Let's start with paragraph. paragraph. My paragraph style. I always wanted to also my text to have a a nice uh, <clears throat> a nice dark color. So I'm going to actually just that put this image. So these are our actual colors. I'm going to put over here so I can just copy paste. Uh, I usually have this uh, color palette. I'm going to start creating it here. Uh, 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 just going to use the, this guy. Boom. That's my text. It's a uh, rich blue, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it's not totally black. Uh, my text is uh, has a, a nice rich blue, and that's my paragraph. I'm going to start with 16 pixels. Uh, Whoa, that got a little bit small, huh? And then let's uh, jump to the next one. Uh, let's say let's actually jump to all the way to 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 the top one. So this one is, as you can see, this is 63 pixels all the way. So probably my H1 is going to be 63 pixels. So my headline one is going to be 63 pixels over here. And then the next one is going to be uh, 45 pixels. Is this too boring? No, 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 you're good. I'm, I'm going to answer some chat questions. Yeah, please, so, while I'm doing this. Yeah, we could probably get the, uh, the countdown clock um, Added. So essentially, you have an hour. So an hour and uh, four minutes. I'll be your countdown clock until it actually comes up. Oh man, uh, that's so nerve wracking. <laughs> Seeing a countdown, you know? Yeah, it's usually right below us, like right here. Um, just, yeah, one hour and four minutes. So, tick tock. Yeah, let's see. Let's see who finishes first. Them, or can I finish also? That countdown is going, I'm going to help my myself accountable uh -huh. uh, to actually try to finish my landing page at the same time. Okay, cool. So I have my 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 uh, my text sizes. Now I can start adding them, right? Can you help me with this? Oh, because yeah. I, I think a character style. Yeah, select so them all. Here. You could you could select them all and then click the plus sign and I'll add them all at once. So and you can you edit it here. Do. That's pretty cool. And actually, I'm going to use my my, my own uh, typeface. Uh, over at Carbon, we use uh, one called Aperku. I don't know if you ever heard of this uh, typeface. It's really uh, Aperku. Or oh, Aperku? I don't know how to pronounce it. Aperju. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, I like my headlines to be bold. I know it's uh, some people. I don't know. I, I really like the the bold weight on this typeface. Uh, it's, I, I feel like it's pretty friendly. It's still like a sans serif, and, and I don't know. Uh -huh. Do you have a, a favorite typeface out there that you really like? Ah, uh, I'm I like I'm boring. I do like Helvetica New just because it has all the weights. <laughs> yeah, no, it, uh, that uh, yeah. that it's pretty useful sometimes. You know, like uh, having different weights so you can uh, have different contrasts and, and different uh, different combinations mm -hmm. on your. Uh, on forms but and I do, stuff. I do like this because again, it's it, it has a little bit of like playfulness. There's not, I feel like there's, yeah, it just feels like it has some curves and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty friendly. It's geometric. Boris well, likes Be Bebas new. Bebas new, um, yeah, Bebas new is, is pretty good for headlines and just like really strong uh, headlines. I, I I really like that. I usually like it for poster design actually too. Yeah. Bebas. Okay. One, uh, you can continue. I think you're just kind of cycling through the, some fonts. I'm just going to switch over. This is on Typekit real fast where I typed in your name. But uh, on Typekit, you can sort through fonts based on, like, if you want a heading font or a paragraph font. Yeah, it makes sense. So paragraph font with, uh, you know, different weights and heights, that sort of thing. You get the idea. Um, Bebas, I think, is in here somewhere. I didn't share this, but I do have all the assets on if anyone wants to, uh, all the web assets. Should I share them with someone? If someone yeah, wants to also use them? To, uh... uh certainly. Yes. So, <laughs> well, uh, well, let's switch to my computer while you do that, yeah. actually. Uh, so again, I'm, here I am on Typekit. We can search, you know, sort of like what fonts are good for headings, which ones are for paragraphs. These are all the like type nerds, and I mean that affectionately. Um, the Typekit team, you know, they're all about everything that you talked about. Uh, so feel re free to use that as your resource. Gus. And then I also wanted to say we had an update to Adobe XD yesterday. So if you go to your Creative Cloud desktop app, 
Uh, make sure you've hit update, and you can open up PSDs. You can open up a, open up a sketch file, and there's a, a list of you know other um, options and things you can do. Uh, what's your email, Gus? So I can <laughs> email you the we Dropbox. Can, uh, we can. Do you want to open what you could do? Just open up Behance.net forward slash live, and you can post it directly there. Uh, Behance.net live. And make sure I that page is not very sure text savvy. Muted. Your speakers yeah. Oh, there you go. Good. I see. Yeah, just paste it down there. Sweet. I think I need so, to join Behance first. <laughs> I do a little. T oh, you do a little typography, brush fonts, and sans serif fonts. Hey, work at Avenir's good. Lado. Oh, I love Lado's good. Oh, Lado's. Uh, she's like uh, uh, Jack. Actually, said that it's overused, but I use Lado a lot, so you're probably right. Uh, I would say that Aperture is a little bit overused too. Okay. A lot of people use it. Uh, but I don't care. I, I'm not trying which, to be original. Which font did you say <laughs> that uh, Spotify uses that you've seen? Uh, circular. It's pretty circular. Yeah, circular is one that uh, Spotify uses. I shared the link on, on, on the live thing. If you want to download the assets, all the icons and illustrations that we're going to be using today, they're there. It's funny how you kind of judge people for their font choices. <laughs> uh, Cedric says lobster. So we're kind of judging you. Ooh, uh, I, I feel Cedric. like Lobster is becoming the new uh, Comic Sans for I some know. people. That's what they say. <clears throat> so I wouldn't share that uh, too much. <laughs> but uh, we're all entitled to our own uh, uh, choices. And I like people you know? who like things that other people don't like. I'm yeah. like, you go be original. I like it. Yes. <laughs> you know, you, Do your you thing. be that person. I love it. Do your thing, chicken wing. I think somebody needs to make a Comic Curls font. A Comic it's, what? It's Comic Sans and Curls with a Z put together. Uh, yes. Just to annoy everybody. <laughs> uh, these are like some sketches of the illustrations, for example. Uh, today, uh, uh, hopefully we get to... Yeah, so Benjamin brings up a good point. I mean, it's like it's no small matter to just pick a font, and that's what people do is they just kind of pick one. But he knows every brand. I anytime you're doing brand development, you're exactly right, Benjamin. It takes weeks of font creation and choice selection and all that stuff. Okay, cool. It takes time. Look at these illustrations. Yeah, uh, so all of them, I put a link on Behance, so you should be able to yeah, get all of this it? stuff to different SVG files to uh, different uh, stuff that we're going to be using today. So hopefully we get to do that. I'm going to just move all my icons over here. And and also later, I'm going to just use this image as a placeholder. But I actually make made this image on on Adobe it might Draw. Not, yeah, gotcha. I so see what happened. This is just a sketch, but uh, I'll I'll put the actual image with color and stuff in a little bit. So okay, so now we're starting to put all stuff. We have all our assets. We have our our typefaces. Let's just start putting our, our things together. So. Let's, uh, let's go to my copy like that. Let's we'll, we'll post the navigation. The, we got to post the. I just realized that you don't have uh, rights to post a link. We don't fully really? trust you. We'll let you be in the studio I on see. camera I see and rifle through our personal belongings, but we will not let you post a link. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, <laughs> so you it's okay. I understand. We'll, we'll, uh, get it. we'll get it to you. Let me just copy this and just put it over here. Uh, uh, usually, he will share the files. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Probably I wouldn't do it this way, but three, four, five. That's just uh, for to keep it quick and easy, and just using spacing to separate these uh, links. Uh, but I will probably not do it that way. Oh, by the way, did I change this to 1440? Yeah, and then this is 1200 pixels. This is my layout, 1200 pixels. It should be, yeah. Yeah, 67. Okay, let's start adding content. Uh, walk in, feel better. That's going to be your slogan. What do you think of that? We can change it. We can try I something else. I love it. Else. Walk in, feel better. Feel sounds, better. Sounds too easy. Sounds, uh, yeah. You it's, just walk it's through the promise. door and then you're healed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, what type of place is this? It's amazing. Well, can feel better. Uh, two lines, uh, just like that. Super easy. And then um, this is our second tagline. Uh, okay, so this is where you're sizing. 
yeah so this is where the sizing comes in really important you know uh, let's uh let's actually use this style just going to copy this there you go see having that just like makes it super easy for me and i can just uh probably this one i'm going to change the the weight to be uh regular and cat songs playing it's a whole thing happen yeah happening we have a cat song that plays in the background a cat song yeah or you just hear some meows <laughs> I like that. I, I I wish I could hear. We so. try to get rid of it, but it keeps coming back. And I think it's Paco over here messing with us. Oh, by I, the way, I love it. <laughs> I love it, no, I'm just joking. Paco, Paco Stanley. <laughs> Cats uh, and socks. Cats and socks. <laughs> so, things that we need. We need to uh, choose a location. That's uh. So we did a little bit of uh, research on what are the things that people need when they're making an appointment, when they are going to make an appointment online. And when make, making an appointment with a doctor, uh, uh, usually what comes on top is location. Is it close to me? Uh, also, do they accept my insurance? It's really important for, for someone that is making an appointment. At least here in the United States, it's, uh, it's going to be really important. Like, hey, do, can I go? Can, can, yeah. they, can the doctor see me? And am I going to have to pay? Also, uh, the time, uh, it, it, mostly for urgent care. Uh, you want to be seen as quickly as possible, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and uh, what's up? Yeah, uh, somebody's asking how you chose the column width, like your layout. How did yes. You... So uh, whenever you create a, an artboard, let's say that I create this artboard, and then over here you can turn on the layout here. You how turn it you, on. How did you decide yours? Uh, I you, I went with, what you said. Well, that's uh, this is uh, I'm going with like what the the default uh, from uh, from other uh, from CSS frameworks out there, and the yeah, one like, that we're using uh, which actually, one? which is uh, for example one is Bootstrap. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, so in Bootstrap usually uh, at this size the grid size is 1,200 pixels, and also the column width depends on the gutter. So the gutter that I made is 32 pixels, uh, just to keep it at an, 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 at an eight pixel grid. And then uh, that gives me a, a column width of 67 pixels. So that's how I did the math. Uh, and that gives me, so over here I have 12 columns. The gutter width is 32 pixels, just to keep it as an eight pixel grid. And then the column width uh, automatically goes to 67. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that keeps me a little bit of marching on the left and on the right, which would be 16 pixels. Hopefully that was uh, uh, choose time. Yeah, so I'm gonna continue with my forms. Uh, I like... Uh, uh, so you can hide the, yeah. let's say you can hide the framework or this, hide that grid or the layout, whether it's the, um, Whatever the regular grid or a layout grid, it's c basically Command Shift apostrophe. It's under the View menu, and I think it's the same, or it's really close to what's in Illustrator for hiding the grid in Illustrator. I'm I'm wondering if they're the same shortcuts. It's, if not, it's really close. Yeah, um, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> I will. I, I, I will. I don't think I, I, I am terrible with the grids on Illustrator. I, I don't think I ever use the grids. Don't tell. Mm -hmm. Don't tell my boss. Um, no, it's it's so interesting because um, I know you you use Illustrator. It looks like you use Illustrator plenty. Uh, or am yeah, I wrong? but I, I I don't use it for. I used to use it before XD and, and other design tools. Mm -hmm. I used to use it for for UX and UI too. Okay. Uh, because it had the ability of artboards. Uh, oh crap! Sorry. How do you? Uh, I want to. Sure. Oh, you want to round those corners? Yes. Um, there you go. But only this. Uh, yeah, so hold down the Alt key and just select one. So no, no, no. Uh, yeah, you want to round that. Hold down the Alt key and then just click on that one and round it. And oh. I'll, show, I'll show you a second way. So you don't know what this is. Up here, it says eight. Oh, I see so over here. That's true. you can do it true. numerically. I did this yesterday. Because you want to do the... Yeah, you're right. You can turn that on. So actually, I want it to be four pixels. Eight is too round. Uh, let's do four pixels, and then over here, I'm going to go over here and then say four here, and then 
for here. Right? Clemens, welcome from Germany. Fantastic international audience today. So you use Billy is asking, are you you're still you still use Sketch? You're obviously using XD. You're pretty new to XD. Is it safe to say? Yeah, um, 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 I just started using it this week. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty pretty easy. It's a good transition from uh, all other design tools. Yeah. Uh, so it's been really easy for me just to jump in and and start putting together st stuff on Sketch. Hey, Kevin, good to have you here. You are Italian. Well, we have an Italian presenter up next, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alice. 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 Is that right? Alice? Scalfi. Well, uh, <laughs> Alice. Alice. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Have you ever seen With the... Mark uh, Ryzen the, up next at 11. Yeah. Have you ever seen the movie... Uh, what is it called? Uh, the Tarantino movie the, in, in the war. Uh, oh, Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards, where uh, <laughs> Brad Pitt uh, is trying to talk Italian, oh. but it's, it's it's really <laughs> it's pretty kind of all borderline offensive. Yes. Kinda? Okay, yeah. Cool. <laughs> but uh, but but it's funny too. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We have Kenya in the house as well. Kevin. Good to have you. Here. And yeah. Let's what do you see. are you do you listen to music when you're designing? Uh, or what do you? I'm I'm a weirdo and I listen to noise. Like what is that? Like, like white noise. Like white noise. Now actually brown noise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's weird, right? Do you use an so, app that? I mean, I have one that. Yeah, there's a there's an app for. Uh, uh, I think it's not compatible with uh, with the newest iOS anymore. So I haven't used it in a long time. Brown uh, noise. But it, I really like that it gives me brown noise. So it's a uh, white noise is really uh, high in pitch, mm. and brown noise is a little bit lower. Gotcha. So I, I like that the, the it's called at least the app call it brown noise. I don't know if it, that's a real name. Uh, no, it is. I mean, I have an I have an app like a sleeping app, and it has white noise. And brown noise is, I guess, the most popular one. Yeah, Which, it's just that it's not. I, I don't think it's as annoying as. Uh, because that the, the white noise can be, I think it can be bad for your ears. I might be wrong, but uh, probably sounds, sounds like it. So Dana, so the the XD challenge today is is pretty unique because it's just a photo sharing app. So the parameters are super loose. There's no template to follow or anything. Like literally, it could be as simple. First of all, you need to have three screens, but it's as simple as having an image that has a, an arrow button that would be to signify share. But I like to think of uh, maybe something like, because it's a web experience, so I'd like to think of something like uh, Flickr, for instance, might be a good example of a photo sharing app. Uh, you could use Adobe Adobe Stock and just use those watermarked images. That's what I would do. So I'm, hopefully that helps. Uh, so. Yeah. I like that you're doing <laughs> these challenges, man, seriously. You guys, uh, Dan Danielle says she thought the brown noise was a Latino thing. Yeah, I, I was going to say that too. Where really? it's like, does this sound like very uh, stereotypical of me being Latino, want, wanting brown, brown noise, noise. <laughs> not white noise, not black noise? Uh, let's mm. do let's do the grid, man. Let's do a repeat grid. Let's mm, do to the side. I never did. Never done a repeat grid on the side. So you could always hide those. Do you want to? Do you want to know how to like if you wanted to even hide the grid that you're working on? Because you're constantly yes. So like, boom. window view and I suppose Ugh. hide layout grid. Yeah, there but go, there's right? also like shortcuts because I know you're like shortcut guy. Yeah, I saw the shortcut, but it looked complicated. So <laughs> for <laughs> now, uh, what other insurances are out there? Uh, Medicare, Medicare. Um. So now that the grid, since the grid has different sizes, I'm going to ungroup it, right? Ungroup it, and now I can uh, do do stuff like this. Where, oops, this one's a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. So, do you prototype? Do you even do, prototype? Do bro? you even prototype, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll prototype, bro. A prototype. Uh, Clemens, it's super fun. I think when you get into that, it's like really fun to just add interactivity to what you're working on. So, Topeka, good to have you. Where are you from? I have not seen your name, or uh, maybe it's been a bit. 
but welcome. So something that I didn't talk about is the line height, and it's really important when you're creating headlines, not leave the default one. So for example here, the default one for a 63 pixel uh, typeface, mm -hmm. uh, font size, you see that it's, that it's really high, you know? Uh, the, the bigger the font, you actually want to shrink down your line height. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's something that they don't teach you at school. I yeah. actually don't know. Uh, and you just kind of like eye it? Uh, yeah, you can go, for example, I usually give it a 1.5 uh, on paragraph, and then I start going down. Okay. Uh, so this one, uh, uh, like on, on a headline, a head H1, it will be 1.1 or 1.2. Mm -hmm. So the size will be 63 multiplied by 1.1. What, what is that? I don't know. That can sounds I do like math, math to me. here? 1.1? There you go. 17. Oh, no. Apparently, no. So let's do uh, this 68. 68 is looking good. See how it, now it, it feels better? It feels like more compacted yeah. and, and it's still readable. You can still read it. And so that's something that uh, a good trick for type, to, for typography when you're creating mm -hmm. your uh, your types. I do like, so typefaces. So actually what, was, what XD was missing for a while was underline. I don't know if you played with underline. Underline is actually pretty smart. So if you have any descender, it doesn't cut into the descender. Did you know that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so. By the way, I didn't show you this, but I, I did think about like what, like a wireframe. <laughs> this is a this very. This is the wireframe. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wireframe. See, if you can see, this is a little bit of how it's going to look over here. Uh, but yeah, I have my form, and then I want to do several shortcut buttons on what is the uh, uh, the thing that we're going to uh, shortcuts to different uh, conditions, and then the how. Like a, we come to you uh, via chat, and then a little bit of benefits about the app, reviews if we have the time, and then mm -hmm. a schedule button and another CTA at the end. It did. I got a little bit uh, more on the reviews just to say uh -huh. to see how it's going to look. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I've, I I didn't show this part of the process, but that's part of the process too. Just like getting a uh, getting something quick and dirty, just like a like a layout of God, what's going to happen. You know, and, and usually you, you want to bring your uh, your different stakeholders, your engineer, your developer, uh, the product manager, the CEO, whoever is going to uh, have something to do with this, with whatever you're building, I think bring them in the conversation as early as possible. Uh, so they, so usually sometimes we have something in our heads, but mm -hmm. they can help us like ha have a better understanding of the problem we're trying to solve. Yeah. Did you make those? Did you make those illustrations on your homepage? Yes. So these illustrations, I made them in Photoshop. I just like uh, quickly with a Cintiq. Looks but, good. But uh, I, I like using once it's final. I like using a, a draw. Uh, okay, Illustrator uh, draw. Il yeah. Illustrator draw mm -hmm. on the iPad because it gives me vector illustrations. So I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a little bit. This is just a place for a look. Uh, so yeah, this is this is live, Axel. Just so you know, you also have a design challenge. So when you hear challenge, it's actually that challenge tab. Feel free to participate. Create yeah. a photo sharing app. So over here, something really important too that I that I didn't say. Uh, it's really important when you're creating your forms and you're creating your main actions to have uh, to design for accessibility. So for example, this uh, this button. Uh, uh, the color of your text and the background of, of the button, it's very important that you check the contrast, the contrast ratio in it, so uh, it's accessible enough and people with low vision uh, can read it. And, or, and, and, yeah. and so or even like color blindness. Color blind, that, would that yeah, be an color, issue? Yeah, color blindness would be an issue too because uh, uh, you don't want to depend on, you wanna, don't, don't want to put a, a color that is kind of on, on a, just a different hue but the brightness is, is almost the same on top of each other because the contrast between them is going mm -hmm. to be really low. And I have this tool that I really like, and it's called Contrast. It actually allows me to check. I have it here, so if you're using a Mac, this will become really easy, but there are also web tools out there. But this allows me to say, hey, you know what? What is the, the, the color of my font? I just like, with a color picker, so it's F, it's, it's just white, and then I choose the color of my background, and there you go. I have double A. That means that it's passing. If and what's I, that extension called again? It's called contrast. But if I had 
made this blue a little bit lighter. Let's say that it's lighter and it's not as, for example, this is a beautiful blue. Oh yeah, blue. that's Matt, Matt D. Smith's Yeah, app? it's Matt D. Smith's ah, app, yeah. Cool. And uh, so let's say, oh, he has been here, right? Yeah, a couple, couple yeah. times. So let's say that this blue, this is a beautiful blue, I love it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna fail. Uh, let's check it, then let's check this background, and boom, it fails. So sometimes you design something that looks good on the screen for you that you have perfect vision, or probably not that good, but you still can see it because you're zooming in and you're like, you're so in, 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 like in there with the pixels that you don't realize that other people with smaller screens, with mm -hmm. low vision are going to need to click on this and mm -hmm. will want to read this. So you always have to design for accessibility. So. So and and Axel, Axel, by the way, like you've never used XD, but you're familiar with Photoshop and Design. Perfect. Like these challenges are made for you, people that are new to XD. Like we encourage you, select the challenge tab. Uh, you have 40 minutes, but all that you have all day. You have all day today, and then the, you, there's a different challenge tomorrow. So if you don't get yours in right now, you can submit it in the next session. So like we make these challenges for you to get to dive into it. So, oh yes, looks like we got quite a few viewers with us today. If you are new to the stream, if it's your first time watching us, we'd love to hear, uh, hear if that's the case. So yeah. What's up? That's pretty good. Damn, almost 2,000 people watching. That's yeah. pretty cool. That's so dope. If you are new, I assume you're new, we would just wanna say, give you a nice little hello and say we appreciate you and enter the challenge through that challenge tab. And I'll just kind of, while you uh, work on that. I'll just switch to my screen. Yeah, you can go see for it. Right over here. Find out everything about the amazing Pablo Stanley, if that is your real name. <laughs> and uh, challenge tab right here. So this is what we're referring to. Here's an example of a photo sharing app. So again, just something with a gorgeous layout. And uh, essentially, that's what it says here. An image sharing web experience made in Adobe XD. You hit that little share button, and then you can submit through that link there. And just to kind of show you as well, let's turn that off. Let's just do a couple undos here. I'm rolling this back, and essentially you can see that you have sort of one image or one square. If I select repeat grid, we could take that one square and start to duplicate it, uh, the number of rows and columns. And then we can grab a bunch of images and then drop them in just like that. And now we have multiple rows and columns. And guess what? I can jump in and add some text in here and it will add text across all of them, okay? And not only that, I love this. If I take a box, I'm gonna show one more tip since we have a lot of new people. Uh, you know, this box right here, I can go over to the properties for anything that's selected on the right side and I can select background blur. So I like this background blur, turning that on, it blurs out that background as, uh, exactly as it states, right? And we can take this text and put it on top. And this could be sort of, again, just kind of the start to a layout. Notice how it gets really bright right here. Well, I can take that same background blur and I can make it darker. Right, so I can make it darker in all instances, and uh, we're well on our way. So cool, that's your crash course in Adobe XD. Uh, we just had an update yesterday, so even if you are a Photoshop user, I think, uh, saw some, I'm sure there's plenty of Photoshop users out there. Uh, you can import, a P actually just open a PSD, and you get all the layers. Tell me that's not fantastic. I'm gonna do that too, real fast. File open. Let's grab a PSD. Again, simple PSD. This one actually has multiple artboards in it, and this is a PSD. Click open. And then just sit back, drink your coffee, <laughs> listen, listen to some Andrew Apple Pie, which may or may not be what's playing uh, in the background, but he's quite often our, uh, the man we designed to, Andrew Apple Pie. But here you can see it, what was once in Photoshop is now in Adobe XD, and we can see everything is editable. Done. The world awaits, the world of XD. XD awaits, okay, enough with the marketing, okay. But uh, anyways, and again, you can win Creative Cloud. 
This is what our giveaway is, and you have 35 minutes. Countdown clock is right beneath us, so that's what that little timer is. That means that I have. But you know, we're gonna do a fun to... giveaway in five minutes too, by the way. Oh really? Let's yeah, do just because we have we have all sorts of uh, people with us today, so we'll have a giveaway in five minutes of a nice sketchbook, Adobe XD sketchbook, and some nice pins. It looks like they say PX. But it's, oh, I guess it does say XD. Bad joke, bad joke. But we're basically throwing everything we can at you just to say we appreciate you for watching. And we really appreciate Pablo, Bay Area, uh, design and UX, UI uh, designer and illustrator living here. Yeah, the, a little this bit of cool, everything. This they cool said that if, if you do a, a little bit of everything, then you don't do anything well. What do you think of that? Should you listen to them? And yeah. Just like, focus on one thing? Yeah, should you focus on one thing or should you do lots of things okay or specialize in one thing? I have an opinion on that. Let's let's hear it. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's good to specialize in, in one thing yeah. and go deep on it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And I think what that does is it says, hey, you know what? I know how to really tackle one subject and go super deep into it and I could do that for you so and so. Like it yeah. just shows that you can go deep on something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Uh and you know how to like learn sort of all the ins and outs of it. I think, Anyways. Uh, I think uh yeah, it has this its, its value to uh to focus on something. But I think I think for you what's exciting about you is I see you see you design and throw these screens together and and then I and I want to do that, and then I see your illustrations, and then I'm like, I also want to do that, like as a designer. And what you say is like, yeah, you can. You don't, you know, you you can d have multiple interests. Like, yeah. what do you do outside of work, or do you just like, like I don't really have any hobbies outside of like designing stuff. Do you have, like, is this? Are you always like creating <laughs> things in your spare time? This is well, I don't know. I I I am fortunate enough. That uh, that I uh, that I'm working on something that I really love, and that I, if I weren't working on this, I would probably still do it as a hobby. So I'm fortunate enough, I'm lucky enough to be paid uh, for something that I love doing, mm -hmm. creating stuff, you know. But I uh, I also do uh, I do music too, uh, like I do the comics. I don't get paid for comics or for music, so uh, so that's something that I do that I, that I just really like. I suppose it's just like a, keeping a keeping creative different things that I, that I do. Uh, that's uh, that's just me. But uh, I, I, the, my ill advice to anyone, which is I, I know it's not fair because we all have different uh, economic conditions and we all live in different places, but it's like try to find that thing that really makes you happy and and just like try to find. A people, a person mm -hmm. uh, that will pay you for doing that thing, <laughs> uh, and if it's not where you live at, because uh, there's not a demand for that, probably move to the place where uh, where there's a demand for that, or at least move to a place where there's other uh, like-minded people like you, that at least is going to you're going to be uh, around people that like doing that stuff too, and and, and it's not because of the economic uh, part of it, but more because again it makes you happy and. I don't know. It's uh, that's my ill advice. Yeah. I know that doesn't apply to everyone, and I'm like I'm saying, I'm really lucky to be uh, able to work on something that I really like, and I, I will still be doing it if I, I wasn't paid to do that. Mm -hmm. I think. No, and I mean you can tell just kind of like watching you and listening to you. Like I think you're pretty inspiring, and it seems like you have fun with what you do. You know, it's nice to be around somebody with with such energy. It's probably because we have two coffees over there for you. <laughs> we make sure these well caffeinated. Uh, yeah. Two hour stream done in, in 35 minutes. So He's done, he's out. Uh, let's go. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, now I want to switch. Just kidding, he's back, he's here. <laughs> I want to switch to uh, to some of the illustrations that I made on on the iPad. So okay. I, uh, uh, so I, I'm, I've been using this, uh, this app called Adobe Draw. And and this allows me. It's over here. See, I have it on my as one of my more important. Uh, uh, how do you how do I exit this? Done. Uh, so I made a couple of illustrations uh, previous to this. 
Ooh. You can get it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it charged? Is something charged? I think it got disconnected. Okay. Can I? Can um, we switch back to so I can connect? Yeah. It? Certainly. We'll switch. Sorry to about our that. Full screen. I'm going to yeah. disconnect this. Yeah, is, is that okay? What do you think? I Just wanted to read. Somebody had some. Yeah, there were lots of comments in the chat. It was like really good, good advice, essentially. Um, and again, we'll do a giveaway. Actually, right now is what we can do. But um, what's going on? Uh, did, does it need to be connected to the Wi-Fi or something? So the I don't pencil? think so. What is it? Uh, we'll, we'll get you set up. Yeah, All it's right. weird that now it's not working. Is that your own pencil? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Bluetooth, so go to the so settings. settings. All right. So there's so many good questions in here. Thank you. Song. Thank you so much. People are asking about masks. We'll get into that. Um, the icons happen to be from. Uh, I don't know where you got them, but essentially what you could use is a number of places. I know you showed uh, Adobe Stock yesterday and there was like 200 icons for one credit. It's not maybe where they came from. Either way, they're vector. But let's do it, Adobe Live. Uh, oh, yes, sorry. This is the beauty of doing things live. Uh, accidents happen and, and you don't get to... Uh, yeah, but don't worry, it's perfect timing because we're gonna do our giveaway right now. Let's do that. Let's yeah. do it, so be active in the chat. Flaticon.com is great. That's good. Yadira, thank you so much for that. Welcome, everyone. We'll do the giveaway right now. Just be active in the chat. Be like, hey, what's up? Hola, Pablo. Y Paul. Como estas? Muy bien. Es el baño? Whatever you want to say. Give away. We're giving <laughs> what away. What else do you know in Spanish? Uh, I want to know. Cerveza. You tell me later. Cerveza. Me, I say me amo as Pab Paul or Pablo. Uh, yeah, me amo. Me yes. amo. Yeah, because if you say me amo, I'd, that's yeah. like, I love myself. <laughs> oh, me amo. Me amo. Oh, well, yeah, I don't want to say that, right? I <laughs> but you do, do love, love yourself. Myself. Yeah, you got to love yourself. You gotta, yeah. Como esta, Hermano? So I actually really good. I did, a, I think, two, a couple years ago, I did a whole... I did a whole introduction presentation at this conference, like all in Spanish in Mexico City. So I was really proud of myself. And everybody's like, hey, you knew Spanish? I'm like, no, I can, I can memorize an intro, though. So thank you so much, Boris and Christine and Joe. Hola, muy bien. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, turning hola, into a, Pablo. a Spanish uh, lessons. We're, we're looking for not Paul. English, anything but English. This <laughs> is what would be fun. A lot of Spanish, that's what I'd like to see. <laughs> but you know what? And for all your translation and sketching needs, this is basically what we're giving away. It's this Adobe XD sketchbook. That's pretty nice. Very few of these. Oh. Oh, the answer and, to all life's problems. It does have a grid in it. I don't know if you can really tell. Can you put it here on the on this? Maybe, thing? maybe, maybe Pablo will. I don't know if you want him to sign it. Ooh, you should do a little illustration. <gasps> I can do a little illustration on it. No, but people are going to be like, no, don't draw my giveaway. Oh you know, yeah, maybe you don't want don't that. But, man, you're my... talented, so it's awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, do my pins, best. Pins. We have stickers it's and. So cool. uh, Thank you so much. All you have to do is say, hello, hola. I would like that sketchbook. It basically, we'll just call it the goodie bag of uh, XD uh, yeah. items. And Adobe Live will pull that name. Adobe Live is pulling that name right now. Doing a background check. And the winner goes to Daniela Hernandez. Daniela. Daniela. Felicidades, Daniela. Daniela. Daniela Hernandez. Hernandez Sounds or like Gonzalez? a Spanish name. There's a. Huh. Oh no, that's Daniel. Okay, okay. Daniela. There we go. Yeah, Daniela. Felicidades, Daniela. That means congratulations. Felicidades. 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 Felicidades, <laughs> Daniela. Uh, okay. We'll have giveaways. Don't worry. Like uh, for dope. every session, you have 30 minutes to enter in the challenge. Select that challenge tab and submit it accordingly. Okay. Congrats. Okay, I think uh, we're ready now. So now the pencil is working. <laughs> mm. So Ooh, is it? Yeah, good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, imagine we're good that. with the challenge. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. So uh, sorry about that, uh, but now the pencil is working. I just uh, wanted to show this is this app. It's called Adobe Draw, and I really like it because like uh, you can draw with the pencil or with your finger too. Uh, but whatever you do, it's actually vector. It's like Illustrator. It's like a very uh, okay. small Illustrator, uh, uh, light version of Illustrator. And I have some uh, illustrations that I'm going to use actually. I have this project, uh, and I want to uh, want to use this for the uh, hey, we come to you, come to our office, or. Uh, or, or let's meet online, let's meet mm -hmm. on a chat. So I'm going to, the cool thing about this is that it connects to Illustrator. So I can just like mm -hmm. go ahead and connect to Illustrator. So then does that require some error? Ooh, oh, it does I need to, uh, I'll go full screen if. Uh, I do need to connect to the Wi-Fi. It's okay, I turn, I'm off of that and it's just us full screen. Okay, cool. XD goodie bag. So if you have questions, let us know. Uh, yes, you can make comics in Adobe Draw. What I really like about Adobe Draw is as you draw, you like the way the line animates on is just is really fun. So, uh, yes, Trani is a beautiful city in Italy. <clears throat> it's my last name, so it's Italian. Thank you, man. And maybe my ancestors are from there. I have some cousins outside of Rome that distant. Cousins. Okay, we're back. I just need to connect back. to the Wi-Fi. Oh, you know, you know Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Uh, so now it's uh, it's it's ooh. finding a. Uh, oh, oh yeah, let's look at your personal stuff. Everybody, get that. Look at it. There's <laughs> personal notifications. <laughs> Screenshot. So let me turn that off. How do I turn that off? Jerk. Too late. This is gonna yeah, happen. Know, right? Just let it. Just let it roll. It's fine. Yeah, I don't you know. really know how. To I don't want to annoy people. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, it was just sent, by the way. So he hit that button. I just saw a sent icon. There you go. And so now we'll switch on, over. My, on my laptop, it is it's opening Illustrator for me. That's the magic of it. I love this. It's, it connects so well once then, you have the Wi-Fi can, and everything. Can we, I'll just switch back just again just to kind of recap and just show them where that button was just one more time. Yeah, so it's here, the export button, and then you go to Adobe Desktop Apps, and you can send it to Illustrator or you can send it to Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And what I did is send it to Illustrator. Yeah. And, and once you click on that, it, you just wait a little bit, and then it will open an Illustrator. And here in Illustrator, it even has all my uh, the layers. So for example, I, I use a different layer for uh, for the lines. I use a different layer for the colors, and then the background. So this is dope. I can just like go ahead and just like even copy paste into uh, uh, into XD. So I'm just going to actually just group these guys. And I'm going to start copy pasting. So I'm going to go to XD, paste this. It's going to have to be a little bit smaller, but uh, we can do that later. Look at See. you. Even your even your color choices match the grid layout. <laughs> you're, yeah, when that, when you're was, good, you're good. You were you were that good. It's intentional, of course. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, I wanted to compliment you on your color choices. Thank you, thank you. It's just. Uh, the illustrations can be a little bit lighter. They don't have to be that uh, accessible. The nice thing is you can like ch easily change. They're all vector. Even once they're in here, you can change. Oh the yeah, I didn't show that, but yeah, this is vector, baby. Look at that. There's vector, no pixel, baby. no pixelation going on. You can explore Hadeen this. Who likes as... it? Who likes it? Jim likes it. I think it's pretty, pretty sick. It's pretty, pretty good. I love this uh, process, and and I, uh, I just been a. Uh, this has uh, opened up the uh, ability to incorporate illustrations into my work so much because uh, it's so easy. I can just like uh, be in a coffee shop or just have an idea and just uh, sketch it on the iPad. And then I know that what I'm doing is going to be almost, almost production ready because it's vector and I can just like put it as an SVG. And my developer, my engineering uh, partner is going to be really happy with me that I'm giving him vectors <laughs> and, yeah. not, and not and uh, not a... 1x PNG, 2x PNG, 3x PNG. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh man, the SVG for web projects is great. Okay, so I have this and now uh, I can start like, I'm going to just like say, uh, what was oh, it? Oh, and then save your file. To <gasps> Oof. Oh my God. I'm going Close to go one. over here uh, to web assets and I'm going to actually, if you download it, uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, carbon, web landing uh, Adobe XD. There you go. How, how good are you with your naming conventions on your files? Horrible. Are you just like tiny file, tiny file names or are you just like explain everything that is happening <laughs> in, 
<laughs> in your file. We'll, we'll find out actually when people oh, really? submit their uh, their prototypes. Oh, that's to true. See what. Uh, Uh, over here, I'm going to say, how can we help you? And this is going to be, over here, this is going to be 22, if I'm, if I'm correct. This has to be left the line. And I'm going to go all the way here, right into the, uh, between these three, these four, uh, columns and then uh, um, there you go so now uh, you you showed me paragraph text I just change it over here and now I can just like boom baby look at that how beautiful is that let's change the, the font size uh, and, and now it's, it's looking good now Right? It's starting to look good. I can need yeah. to make this a yeah, little bit I think bigger. So too. And again, we spent time, if you're just joining us, we are making sort of a landing a landing page, like marketing page for this uh, Carbon Health app. Uh, we've kind of already, the past hour, we've talked about line height, picking. We didn't dive in too much into, we kind of talked about favorite fonts. We actually didn't have to worry about too much of that. You have some nice illustrations to kind of break up the content. Here's all the content that you're pulling from. So we have that nice yeah. Word doc or document. Yeah, exactly. So that helped us uh, uh, speed up the process. I don't have to like write the copy. I already have it. So, uh, and this is obviously, I would suggest like before starting uh, putting pixels together, I, uh, I suggest uh, doing this kind of work first always. Just uh, get your copy, like understand what you're building, why you're doing it, uh, what are you trying to accomplish, and then start putting everything together, I think. That's uh, that's my way of doing it. Over here, I, didn't, I cannot bring the the, uh, the logo, but let's, uh, let's just change it like this. Oh, go. I love that's, that, uh, I always love that. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's leave it as this. This is uh, there's more stuff for the landing page, but I think uh, for just so so we finish, we go and actually create an illustration. Let's leave mm. it at this. Uh, I want to Ooh. replace this placeholder with an actual illustration. Ooh, so fun. let me go back to my uh, to here to yeah, draw. My friend. So I already did this. So over here, all my projects, you will see that I uh, even the uh, the different. Uh, is, is, is sketches that like this is uh this is this was my wireframe of what in, I wanted to do walk in get better and then also the uh, uh -huh. the uh, uh, review this is the the full content on my side uh, I did it here so it was super quick uh, just to get an idea but I also did this illustration so over there we have the placeholder uh, and let me uh, preview let me show you how it was Love done, this. the time lapse. So this is another cool thing that I love from uh, from Adobe Draw that it creates a time lapse of how you did this. I had a sketch that I done by hand, and I just imported here. You should act like you're doing it right now. Yeah, I'm I'm that fast. <laughs> I tried. I wouldn't be surprised. You can also see how my uh, uh, let, let me play it again, and you can see some of my explorations first. I, I started playing with color. Uh, and then I went back to just like minimizing the amount of colors. And just working on different layers, right? Yeah, and, and, and exactly, yeah. So since you uh, you can work on different layers, you can uh, keep your outlines from your color separated. Mm -hmm. You can and, just kind of see them on the side there. You can kind of, yeah, yeah. perfect. So, oh yeah, 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 over here. And, and actually we're going to create one, by the way. Ooh, but let me port this to Illustrator so we can uh, have this uh, over there. So Illustrator Draw, we're uh, gonna go ahead and sync that or send that to there you go. Illustrator. So now over here on Illustrator, it should open. There you go, now I have it here. Boom. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> How cool is that? It's so easy. <laughs> so easy, man. I I don't know, this is, for whoever likes bringing illustrations who's, into their. I yeah. wanna know who's used Illustrator Draw. I saw Robzilla in the house earlier. I know he's a huge Illustrator Draw guru. Do you know him, Robzilla? Uh, you need to get to know him. He's, he's been a guest of ours on an illustration stream. There's really, a ton of amazing stuff. Oh, dude, yes. So, is he is he is he a tall guy? Uh, 
Uh, not particularly. Oh no, tall. then I'm, I, I think. Oh, I'm thinking Rocky Road or Rocky. Rocky Rourke. Rocky Rourke. Yeah, he he has been here too, right? Yes, he was yeah. here last week. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I was thinking him. Yeah, I just met him. He's he's super cool. He's a great illustrator too. So there you go. Now I have I can replace my sketch with the actual image. So it was like this before. Now we delete it, and then we have Vector Baby. Boom. Let me uh, turn this Vector off. Vector Baby. High layout grid. It's looking tight. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. And and, and this is uh, this is starting to look good. But I, I, really I want like to it. I want to have another exploration of my hero with okay. a different uh, with a different illustration. So, so you just you just just real quack qu real quack real real, real quack. Real you, quack. You held some. <laughs> <laughs> the alt key and just dragged, right? Yeah. Dragged that art that artboard. I just selected duplicate. the artboard. I press alt. And yeah. you can do this with any layer. Yeah. You can just duplicate by pressing and holding alt and then dragging. And then you just like duplicate, just yeah. like that. Artboards are basically just like any other object. Any much. other you can transform them, you can uh, you can rename them, uh, arrange them, align them. Uh, anyway, so that was one. I want to create another illustration. You think we have the time? Let's do it quick. Aaron, Aaron Garrett's made a, uh, worked in uh, what, Illustrator Jaw, that's good to hear. Chase Ballas remembers Adobe Line. Wow, gosh, I know, that hurts my yeah. brain going back. So I'm going to create a new, uh, a new, I have a lot of formats here. Uh, let me actually just uh, show this, but uh, uh, different formats here that you can select. This is pretty cool. You can create your own here on new format. You can create your own. But I'm going to just uh, go to any of these. It, it doesn't really matter too much because you're working with vector. So if you're working with vector, sometimes the pixel size is not that uh, important. But mm -hmm. uh, this one, HD, I really like it. Uh, I'm going to import a sketch that I already made. So I'm going to go to, uh, I press the plus button, image layer. And then I'm going to say uh, a photo that I already imported into my, uh, Oh, oh yeah, we get to see what's on your iPad. Oh, you know what? I didn't import it into my iPad. I well, while to... you do that, if you do that for a sec, do you need to import that? Because I want to kind of review yes. some of the entries. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Go for us. So, <gasps> sweetness. Should we do that? Okay, I'll, I'll keep doing this. You you keep doing it. As Adobe Live mentions there, by the way, sort of the rules are to essentially uh, to create a web experience. So again, if I just go to over here to the challenge, and maybe I didn't make that clear. I thought I did, but I'll blame myself. Image sharing web experience made in Adobe XD. Okay, but we'll still kind of go through these, by the way, because they were submitted. Um, Cedric's picked up, picked up. Upload your pictures. Uploading this one from the camera roll. Adding tags to it. Do you want to pick pick up this picture? Yeah, let's pick it up. Boom. I assume it makes wow. that sort of sound. <laughs> Boom, you picked it up. That's it is now yours. Dope. <laughs> this was a submission? This is submission? Yeah, wow. technically it doesn't fall within the you know parameters of the contest, but still, I thought I'd show it. <sighs> okay though, so I think Mark's kind of has the same, the same issue, you know. Um, again, this looks more like a mobile app, but uh, set this as your daily background, sure. And this is a scrollable window. And I do like how Mark actually posted his as a Behance project is what he did. Because once you hit publish, by the way, right up here, you publish this prototype, you'll get the embed code as well. So that's what essentially he did. So good job, Mark. Uh, again, kind of another mobile app. We're looking for like a web experience. So go big, go big with it, have some fun. Beard? Oh, bird. Uh, <laughs> uh, bird. <laughs> Let's dive into this. Nice use of the repeat grid. Beautiful pictures. Let's select a bird. A little blue jay. Parrot. Hummingbird. Lots of screens here. Very beautiful. So cool. So there's three. Technically, they're mobile apps. Kind of have an issue there, but uh, we just appreciate you sending things our way. Uh, maybe it's a mobile web page and not an app. Ooh, look at Wes. Ha! <laughs> like it. 
He's like, well. Okay, well, good thing that I showed them then. Uh, looks like you're drawing some stuff. Should I switch to you, or is that wrong? Uh, I, I don't know. Wait, like, should second. we do the, this thing first? No, I was just reviewing our entries we had oh, okay, thus far. Okay, cool. So keep so, in mind, we, you still have ten minutes. This is just some motivation to get cracking. Yeah, let's, uh, let's switch over here. So, okay, so I imported an image. Uh, and this is a sketch that I already did. I did, uh, uh, and, and, and I want to ink it. I want to turn it into uh, a vector. So here I imported it. And then this is just a, another layer here. And I changed the opacity of it. So uh, I'm already mad at you at how good you are with this illustration. So it was, uh, I, I turn it over here so I can draw on top of it, so I can trace it. So now I, I own a new layer over here. You can add multiple layers here, a draw layer, an image layer. Uh, but over here, and then I select a brush, uh, any of these brushes. I want to select one that is just like, it keeps the width almost always the same, uh, just like okay. a pencil. And then uh, I'm going to select, a, a, here you can select a color. I already have a color selected. I, I have a here because you can create your own swatches and your own color picker, but you can also go to picker or select the theme. But I have my own swatch that I, I, I saved on my Adobe, uh, uh, ex, uh, my Adobe account, on my mm -hmm. Adobe Creative Cloud account. So in this, it, it loads it, but you can change even the library. So I have that color. This is, is going to be the color for my outlines. And it's just to start drawing on top of it. It's not going to be that perfect, sorry about that. I'm going to be quick, and, and I'll try to be uh, quick, and when you're quick, you're not that great. But, but it's gonna be fine, right? And, and yeah, the idea is, uh, is to ink, ink it. You went through the process of uh, the sketching, uh, uh, I, even though I did it in Photoshop, the sketching I did it in Photoshop, I actually use a brush that looks like a pencil because I still like, even even though it's digital, I like the idea that it looks like it's a pencil and it looks like an analog. Uh, whatever uh, simulates, uh, uh, I don't know, the real life, I, I like it. I know it's uh, it can be cheesy, but uh, uh, sometimes uh, it's, it's good for your mind to try to tell yourself, uh, hey, you're creating, you're creating something with your hands, you know? And even though it's digital, it's good. It's still done in an anal analog way, in a How, good way. Do you, have a, uh, do you have a screen protector on that at all? Or? I do not. I okay. heard there's something uh, to make your uh, screen feel like paper or something like that, right? Yeah, I mean, all so it's 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 a it's a give and take because uh, you might get a matte screen protector, and uh, it obviously eliminates any sort of uh, reflections, but it gives it a little bit of a tooth. But you also lose. Some people think you like lose clarity the more matte you get. The more grit you add, you might lose a little bit of clarity. So clarity in what, like in the colors or what? Uh, just in the detail, because it's it might look like it's adding a little bit of haze, because that grit kind of, you know, does that gives it a I little see. bit of a, you know. So I, I have one on my iPad, and I it's it's probably one of the better ones that I just got on Amazon. It works pretty well. So. Hafid, thank you for joining us, uh, and welcome everybody. If it's your first time joining us, we want to say hello. We have Pablo Stanley with us illustrating. Yeah, I'm just uh, sketching over, uh, sorry, uh, inking, uh, vectorizing over a sketch that I made. And it's uh, it's pretty fun using uh, Adobe Draw. It's mm -hmm. just uh, super quick. Uh, I'll try to be as quick as possible. I think I chose a very complex illustration, I'm realizing. Uh, hopefully we can finish as fast as possible. This is good. And uh, for those of you joining us, he's working on Adobe XD on the iPad. Just kidding. <laughs> You're not. If it seems confusing, it's actually Adobe Illustrator Draw, but it's awesome because we needed illustrations for our XD project, which we'll switch to in a sec. Are, are you? Uh, are you suggesting that probably there's going to be an XD version on the iPad? Is that no. what's going on? Are well, I, I will say that you can, there is a technically an XD app uh, oh, yeah? for testing. Oh, okay, that's true, yes, but uh, not for designing, right? Yeah, not quite for design. I will say that if you have not checked out Adobe Comp. Oh, it's pretty huh. cool, I have it, yeah. I love it, like why don't we talk about it more? Adobe Comp is like, if you draw a box with your finger, It'll interpret that as like a perfect square. 
If you yeah. scribble with your finger to simulate text, it'll give you lorem ipsum. It's amazing. So Adobe Comp, <laughs> super dope. Like, why don't we talk about it more? I don't know. We should. So good. Uh, probably it's, it's, we didn't do wireframing this time. Uh, I already brought my wireframes, but probably in another uh, project, if we want to start from the wireframing part of the process, probably we can use Adobe Com for that stuff, you know? Yeah, and you could do the same thing. You could send to Illustrator, send to InDesign is the new one, Photoshop Muse, like anywhere, and it will actually bring it in as a text field. No so, way. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. dope. Why don't we talk about it? We need to. I don't know. Well, it's we're talking like, about it. We're talking about it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, check it out. Yeah, but we should use it. Uh, uh, anyway, I, I finished my, my, my outlines. I'm going to uh, really quickly. Th this one is uh, it's okay if I don't do it that, that, uh, that perfect. I'm just going to do in a different layer. I'm going to start putting colors on it. So I'm going to select this color. I'm going to start. Uh, this is another thing that I really like that it, you can just like do the outlines really quickly like this and then fill in. Boom, baby. Yeah, as long as it's like a, a clo enclosed space. Yeah. A long so, press. So you enclose first uh, your shape and then you can fill it up. But it has to be enclosed. If not, it will not allow you. You will see an, an, an ugly icon telling you. Hey, you have to fill it up, baby. You have to close it. So there you go. Let's uh, let's use a different, uh, uh, a little bit darker color, a darker blue for a little uh, girl's hair. Welcome, uh, Hassan from Dubai. Awesome. My my younger brother just landed in Dubai last night. Oh, he's I there. Was, I heard it's beautiful. Yeah, he was he was sending me some videos of uh, the some of the, the light show that they have on the buildings downtown wow. are, 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 are uh, amazing. Oh, I can imagine But that. he also says he loves your comics, so that's awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Big, uh, Check those out. Big hugs all we, the way to Dubai. Yeah, appreciate and, uh, you. I wish, uh, I, I want to visit one of these days. Have yeah. you visited Dubai? Yeah, yeah, I have, I've been there. It's pretty cool. Welcome back, Terrence Stone. It's been a while for you, my friends. Good to have you here. Ty, what's up? Boom. All right, it that. is hot there, Super definitely. Quick. So, almost there, almost there. Baby. No, you're good. Actually, while you do that, you're doing your coloring. Maybe I'll show these three, three more of these. Yes, we got some go, more entries. Go, in. please do that. Fantastic. All right, so we'll go through these. Looks like we have Miguel's. This is Miguel's app, and just to review, this is the challenge. You can select the challenge tab. It's all about creating a photo sharing or an image sharing uh, web experience. Paco Stanley photos. Click. Oh, here we go. Glorious. Paco Stanley? Yeah, they say Paco Stanley here. <laughs> <laughs> photos related somebody, to that photo, yeah. Somebody did use Paco Stanley. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's the artist I was telling you. Oh, this is him. Is Can you check it out? Buddy. Let's see. Yeah, that's Paco Stanley. He, Paco uh, Stanley! El gallinazo. That was a, a dance that he would do like, every morning. <laughs> and <it's>, El gallinazo <laughs> means like a, the chicken the, the, the chicken dance. Uh -huh. So he like... Anyway, sorry. That's awesome. Gallinazo! I love it. <laughs> that's super fun. That would start off my morning just Yeah, right. every morning you will wake up with Paco Stanley. So it was, uh, <laughs> that's why it was uh, important for us on our punk rock band to do a tribute to Paco Stanley when yeah. we named our band. The Dead Stanleys. The Dead Stanleys. And then that's how my name. Thank you, Miguel. So yours does kind of have a leg up for using Paco Stanley. So well, you well played. Yes. Well played, my friend. Uh, let's go into uh, Black Mage. Home collections trending. This is cool. Oof. All four collections. I like the black. Trending images. And then you can upload. Oh, great job. I feel like this is a full experience. Oh, really? Yeah, it feels pretty uh, nice. I, I think it. that should be Surya's. And let's dive into this one here. Should be Raja's. 
Insta Flick. All right, cool. And one of these. Oh yeah, nice little. I'm not sure what to make of that. Like a bunch of bananas wrestling. Is that what's happening there? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Just this little mustard cushion. <laughs> Uh, which you could also do a search. Good job simulating. I actually really like this really big experience. Um, you know, types easy to read and everything. So great job. That's the mustard cushion. Mustard cushion. It's like a bunch of bananas wrestling. Uh, <laughs> I suppose it's. Uh, I, I, I suppose it, it's mustard. No. Uh, yeah. It's a, oh, it's a I mustard see. cushion. Uh, that's dope. I switched back to your screen, so you oh. know. And, and then we also have two more entries too, but um, yeah. So I'm almost finished here. Uh, I, I will probably uh, would have done, given a little bit more detail to my illustration here, just uh, for demo purposes. I'm, I'm being a little bit quicker, uh, but I will probably like uh, I'm doing shadowing and I'm doing uh, give the characters a little bit of uh, depth with uh, different shades of the blue. Uh, uh, but, and I'm going, and, and, and yeah, and so I'm being very minimal with the use of my colors, just keeping the blue that we use with, uh, in different shades, and it's a kind of a monochromatic analogous palette. So, uh, and that's how, that's how I do it. Uh, I like it. We, uh, we're exploring the idea of incorporating more colors into our color palette, but that's uh, that's coming next that uh, we're working on, on our rebranding, so probably we'll bring more colors. So, okay, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I want to put this on XD, so I'm just going to go ahead and again export this. Uh, by the way, let's let's, let's see a, a quick time lapse. What about that first? Oh, yeah. Totally. Let's do a time lapse here. And this is so cool because you can, if you're into Instagram and stuff, you can just do your drawing and then share the process with other people. Mm -hmm. You know, like there you go. Now I'm starting to add colors uh, and the shading at the end, and that's it. Now um, let's uh, let's share it on on Illustrator. Yeah. What's up? No, I don't. Uh, I'm not sure how to extract that video. I know of a way, but I don't. There was no. Oh, you can just uh, you can save it as a video as anything. You can even uh, I think you can even post it on on Twitter and stuff. Oh. Oh, there you go. Now it's an Illustrator, like. It's so seamless. Yeah, and let's look. Can we look at the layers for that? By yes. Chance? So uh, here on Illustrator, uh, uh, let me uh, turn on the this thing. So we can see over here. It actually brought the layers. The layers, for example, my outlines, some colors, and some shading. Uh, the background colors. So I have it in, th in three background and in, in three layers. My background colors, shades, colors. I'm and then the outlines. Screen. Got it. Pretty dope. Yeah, that is really cool. You can change it any time, and there's the. Yeah, exactly. Here you can, if you want to fine tune some of the, uh, some some of the colors. Something that I really like, that it, it's a new addition to Illustrator, uh, is Puppet Warp. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Have you have you tested that? Yeah, you got to show everybody because like the people who haven't seen it should be like. This is. Yeah, why? Well, I'll show you. It's right. As that object, little, that little pin. Oh yeah, so I have my illustration. Right? And try to can you, can you just select the people? Uh, I don't. I, I try. Oh, it's I, all one. Okay. It's all one okay. right yeah. now Go because ahead. I, Go for it. because the background is actually uh, locked. Yeah. Uh, but let's say I have my people, mm -hmm. and I want to move this, so I can use the puppet warp with this little tool here, puppet warp tool, and I can start adding pins. So I add a pin, for example. Oops, sorry. I add a pin here, I add another pin here to the important elements of this my structure. And for example, let's say here, another element, and then another element here. And let's say that there's another pin here where the, the hands are meeting. And let's add another here. So now, or let's even add another here, another here. So the joints, it's pretty important to add one. Mm -hmm. And then for example, if I wanted to uh, move her head, I can just like move her head like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
but but you can you can come in and, and do some fine adjustments that will be really difficult to do it again. Oh, you man. have to draw it again, right? And I love how it doesn't it doesn't wrap it in like a filter or anything. It's actually no. bending all of those vectors yeah. as if you were doing that bending all those individuals. Let's say that probably she was bending too much when you would draw it, but you you want to bring her back a little bit. You can do this. Uh, this is so dope. It's just uh, this is amazing. Uh, sometimes I when you like let's say that uh, let's let's do this like it's <laughs> jumping like whoa. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can get creative. Uh, obviously, use this for fine tuning. It's great. What's yeah, that? and then it's so uh, it's it's just the puppet warp. It's kind of hard to see, but it's basically it looks like it's a push here. pin. Yeah, thank you. It, it's one of the coolest editions. This, this was introduced like a, a couple of months ago. Yeah, uh, and this was in Photoshop. Yeah, October. but in Photoshop, it's pixels and 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 illustration. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to use this kind of stuff on your illustrations that where, are vector based. Where was it before it was even in Photoshop? Uh, on Photoshop, you go to Edit Puppet Warp. Yeah, but where it, it's in a it was in another app even before Photoshop. Oh, really? It started out someplace else. Where? <gasps> I'm see if anybody knows. Hold on, Flash? No. No, Flash has the Bone tool. Oh, uh, After Effects. You got it. After Effects makes sense. It, if you it, want it to kind of begs it begs animation, but if you want to have exactly. a, you know, yeah, so. Okay. Started cool. out, and that's what happens. Starts out in After Effects, like uh, Photoshop users see it, and just like that's how things get adapted. Thank you. Boom. Edward's got it. Danielle has it. RG three. There's Robzilla. There yes. Raja says great artwork. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We need uh, to go through these. Uh, okay. Looking so that's good. That's it. So just you another exploration. Uh, let, let's put this in the background. Our forms are on top. So there you go. The idea is that it's welcoming, it's friendly. A, a doctor is going, is going to be here to see you, but doctors are your friends too. But what the doctor doesn't know is she's coming in for a hurt hand. Yeah, right? Ah, oh, my hand! <laughs> Blood everywhere. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so two explorations really quickly by using Adobe Draw. One where we have a, a, a parent with her, his uh, kid. And one where the doctor is seeing uh, a, a, a little girl, and it's actually adding a little uh, heart in her. Uh, what do you call it? A cast. Yeah, cast. Her cast. Little plants there. I didn't do it here, but I, I would have added some plants or something, some background. But I just did something quick. Cool. Two explorations. Yeah. Uh, and. Should the cool jump? thing is, oh by the way, looks yeah. like one last thing. I think this is fantastic. Go ahead and hit publish. Uh, not oh, yeah. actually not even that one. Pu actually, publish the this bad boy. Oh yeah, poor girl. Let's uh, the publish, publish prototype. Don't worry. I know we haven't linked anything up. Yeah, just Tell hit comments. you know create link or whatever. Create a public link. Because the cool thing about this is like, so if you don't link any of the screens together, you're able to kind of click through. Yeah. And the fun part about this is copy link. Yeah, yeah. and you could just hit open link right above it. Ooh. Open link. There you go. So now. So I don't know. I really like this. Just even if I was, I don't. I just think this is so cool. Like even if I'm working in Photoshop and I made a design, the fact that I can open up a PSD in Adobe XD and then just publish it out, and then send the client a link, and then the client can add pins and say, oh, change this, or you know, like the art yeah. director can say, hey, can you tweak this color? So just using XD from a review standpoint is beneficial, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, and so right over there. Yeah. Little at the top. You can click over here and then And I'm say, sorry it's behind. Let me just get on the floor. But let's say that I... Can everybody see it? Can I get up now? What's going on? <laughs> I was moving out of the way because they can't see that box. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... Uh, I guess you could have just moved the screen. That would have been easy to see how they can. Thank oh, you. there you go. There we go. Oh, I, I don't have to lay on the floor. On. I didn't understand what was going on. What's going on? Yeah, so... Uh, Change the colors, for example. Change the colors. Change to warmer colors. That this is going to be an art director mm -hmm. comment on your on your stuff, right? Change to warmer colors. There's like a comment. Yeah. What do you mean? What what what, what spot? <laughs> what, what? Well, now we know. <laughs> and now exactly warmer colors where? Oh, the illustration. Boom. That's what. This and you could just republish that same one out, and then resolve comments. Everything's tracked. I see. It's kind of nice. That's dope. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, do you mind if we have you play art director for a sec? Let's let's do art director. Yes. Let All me right. put my art director hair. 
Uh, this is like the crazy oh, he needs business. Here. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I don't. I need. I'm here to okay. criticize your work. <laughs> to point that stuff and say no, it sucks. Where is our and, and hovering our director? And use vague words. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They don't really mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Vahid, cool. good to have you here. So we'll kind of dive into these. We had a couple more entries from Kathy and Sad 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 Haya and Gabriel, so three more, and then we also have three from earlier. So we have Season, very nice. Let's go into one of these options. Go into one of the different seasons. Let's try Spring, sure. Oh, see. I mean, I mean Fall, I, I clicked it I on see. Fall. See Sun. See Sun. Oh and, uh, my god. They're being clever. Okay, I like it. <laughs> But uh, again, perfect. It's three screens. Again, we can see right down here. Three screens linked together. It's a web experience. It's a photo sharing app. Meets yeah. all the criteria. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Uh, again, we can. Maybe this is a web experience. It's mobile first. <laughs> yeah, mobile first. Mobile web. We, we <laughs> um, grid view, detailed yeah. view, favoriting. Nice. Sharing. That's good. Okay. Yeah. And that uh, is. Uh, it's an avatar who published that photo. Oh, you as you it. click the share button, then you get those options. Yeah. Uh, so, what are we doing? Are we giving feedback while we're talking, or uh... we're just kind of reviewing them, okay, cool. and then and then we'll provide feedback to okay. the top ones. So. Big headline. So, I mean, this should be Gabriel's. Yeah. If we if the, if we don't review yours, don't worry. It might have just missed the deadline. I really apologize. It's going to be entered in the next segment. Um. Let's go to download your favorite. Ooh, I like that. Download to library. Done. You see what they did? They oh, added wow. a separate artboard, technically just for that little micro interaction. Yeah, Don't see. worry, we're working on micro interactions for XD. Probably top of the list. Yeah, that would be great. That way you uh, don't have two artboards with just a little icon. Exactly. I, I do that all the time. But uh, if you solve that, I would, mm -hmm. I would applaud you, my friend. Hello, Patricia. Good to have you here. All right, so fantastic. Let's dive into this. I have this basically our top, top six. I would actually even almost say top five, but we got to kind of get these narrowed down to our top three. Okay, And cool. then our top one. Okay. Okay. So just kind of review. Paco Stanley. The Paco <laughs> Stanley photo. <laughs> Whatever you do. <laughs> I, you do it much better. Uh, but, it, it, you know, a good job. Super fun photos. Easy to use. Black Mage, I really liked this one. Let me start from the beginning. Really straightforward. Black Mage. Black Mage. Black, Go into Black the Mage. Collections. The trend. Oh, nice. That's uh. And then we can upload your own. Good selection of photos Boom. there. Okay, you can upload your own. It's, uh... Yeah. Oh yeah, and then there's more screens. Hold on. Oh, successful. Successful. And then your oh, Surya's. Great okay. job. Cool. And I like the black. So technically, it should look like this. It's like black. That, that really makes that photo pop. Yes. All right. Uh, Master Cushion. In the okay. There's a, there's a grid, there's a Master Reef grid. There's the Bananas. Nice. Okay. Then Browse. And it's basically these three screens. I like the big, big search yeah. Uh, uh, input. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's dope. Um, and I don't season. know about those images. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, it uh, is kind cool. of hard to get past it. Sea uh, Sun. Fun play on words. Kind of already reviewed this. Yes. Kind of uh, been through that. I like that. I, I like the uh, typography. It's it's always it, it's really uh, hard to find someone that is brave enough to use uh, a typeface like that uh, and, like and use it in a, in a nice this way. One? Yeah, like Sea Sun. You know, mm -hmm. like I, I, mm -hmm. I am not that brave. I would always go to a sans serif or a serif, uh, but and I will stay away from a script. All right, so these are our top five. So we have cool. Uh, this one, let's get it down to three, and then we'll get it down to one. Yeah. So uh, CSUN, I think I, I really liked. I really liked the the one with pa Paco Stanley uh, too. I also like the, the Black Mesh too. Uh, then the rest. Um, and then there was these were the other two. Mega pixel, yeah. and then this one. Mustard caution. I really like that uh, uh, the design patterns that he's using because, like, I can see this as a real app. You know, this looks like a. He, Sorry. 
he or she put the, the, the thought process of what are going to be the real needs. I, I like that the images have that contrast that is using the image space to put metadata about like who is uh, who uploaded this photo and some other information, how many likes does it mm -hmm. have. And even though that text is on top of the image, uh, they put a little bit of contrast there with a gradient uh, that is not that is soft enough, mm -hmm. so it doesn't block the image, but it's also it creates good contrast between the text and the, and the background. Yeah, I'm kind of really torn with get. that. Like, I almost think, does it make it look kind of muddy? Because I'm also expecting them to use a black gradient, yes. and they used a taupe gradient. Yes, it, it looks like they use a color one. So either kind of you, if you're using a color, uh, use a blend mode, like multiply, or just use black with a transparency. You're right, because uh, if not, you're you're correct. It, it creates that muddy, hasty yeah. look. And, and it's okay if this is the taupe color for the site. I'm almost expecting if this was taupe up at the top, it'd kind of tie it in together. I do like the masonry, the grid yeah. view, the Pinterest view here is kind of yeah. nice as well. Uh, diving into uh, Megapixel, they said refresh it. Is that what I need to do? Refresh Gabriel's. There you go, okay. I good see. job, feel free, use, use these watermarked ones. It's all good. Uh, uh, upload or I download like the library. Yeah, I like Photos the photos uh, of landscape. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the use of the big typeface that says your favorites. I, I don't know what it is. Is is that the name of the site or something, or is it just the page that is your favorites? Mega. Uh, uh, I use, I see it as I a guess. marketing page, but apparently it's not. Oh, anything. you're on the faves page. Yeah. Uh, okay, I love cool. this though. I love how that's a sentence. Photos you know, of landscapes. Photos of landscapes. Uh, you know, illustrations of people. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah I like that. Neat. So. Uh, so this is tough. I, I like that this, on this one used the image as, as there's there's no uh, at least on the on the first image, the image is the uh, the background, you know, and and it's giving as much space as it, as it can to the images, which is the content, right? Uh, it's kind of minimizing the amount of other information. That's what I like about this. And it's uh, it's really bringing like, hey, this is about images, so mm -hmm. uh, let's. Let's give as much real estate as we can to the images, and then it's being used in a really clever way where it matches. I guess my the only, branding. the only, my only, my only suggestion is like, could this go from edge to edge? Because I almost want, I visually want to expand this out, like correct, go from edge to edge. Yeah, text yeah, to text. yeah, yeah. That for this, uh, since again, since that feeling of like the give as much real estate as you as you can to the images, then go. F they go full with fluid layout instead mm -hmm. of uh, putting it on a grid. But yeah, great execution. And it's very simple. Like, could very well win, and it's very simple. Yes. Season we already reviewed. So that's where we're at. We have, do you kind of have, well, technically I didn't narrow these down to three, but which one uh, is kind of. I, uh, do, we, do you have at least have your like top two? How are you feeling? Like, what, what can we do here? So uh, I, with, some, with some things to change, I will. I think uh, this one is really complete. This this one uh, this one right here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I do agree with some of the uh, muddiness on the selection of the colors and stuff, but I I really like that it felt like a real app, like a real website. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so sorry. So there, there was there's a lot there was a lot of thought behind that one. I'm gonna uh, eliminate this one because I think this okay. compared to the others is not quite. There. Yes, uh, I like black. Image CSUN is also really good because again, because I I just like find it really brave the idea of uh, using that typeface. That's and 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 that header navigation just like really uh, I'm really enjoying. Uh, but and, and Pakistani, it, I'm just because it has Pakistani, I liked it. But uh, yeah, I'll have to say it still, agreed. It, it it's good, but it's not. There you go. So have CSUN, black mesh and. I don't know. What do you prefer, man? Got to choose a winner. Uh, what are well, they winning? I they win one year of Creative Cloud. So wow! Always That's interested. Uh, okay, so actually, Black Mage has won before, so I don't know if they technically like qualify. Okay, but sorry. we have to. You could maybe win again, uh, or actually, should I have not? I think it's okay. not fair if they have. They win for, yeah, so, you, you, you know, it's like, he's like, has 42 years of Creative Cloud or something, whoever, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> so, oh, uh, is it, I uh, see, I see, I see I don't know if that's, 
is or not, but that's like one of those situations. Uh, nonetheless, yeah, so let's kind of dive into this. Okay, I do I choose one? Yeah. Or you should, are we? I chose yeah. just of it. I, I choose that one, the one on the right. Uh, the one on the right, oh, okay. The one on the right, and Boom. it's, uh, again, it's, it, it, there are some things that could be improved on the visual, uh, mm -hmm. but I, but I think I, I really like the uh, all the design patterns that uh, this person used. Who is it? Mm -hmm. Who? who uh... Uh, we will we will find out. We'll, it looks like the name is not. Well, part con of the... congratulations to you because uh, you you really thought about this and and you gave enough space to the images, mm -hmm. but at the same time you used the uh, the uh, use a masonry uh, uh, layout. I like the uh, also the big search. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have. Choose different images. Yeah, that that's the thing that almost made this one lose. Yeah, is the, is the imagery. Quite yeah. frankly, I, <laughs> I think. I, I feel like it, it was kind of it, yeah. it's fun. But the wrestling bananas. I just don't know. But just the what we have going on over here. I, I, don't make it weird. This this would have looked beautiful with different images that are the beautiful images. You know. All right, that's uh, Raja's. Raja, Raja, congratulations, Raja. Raja. It's, it's cool. I can't see this. Uh, it, it, it looks like you put a, a lot of thought into it, then, yeah. and I really appreciate that. And again, we're going bigger. Like yesterday was uh, basically a small web experience that you actually, or excuse me, uh, app experience, you used a template, right? So you had a UI kit. This yeah. is like a web experience on your own about photo sharing. So With no template. With no template. Boom. Yeah, it's good stuff. Hold on. Good stuff. Congratulations, Raja. Congratulations. Wow, one year of, of Adobe. Everybody, please. Do we have a sound effect? <sighs> Confetti, <laughs> explosions, just balloons, and all the fun stuff. Well, cool. So, uh, if anyone has any questions about, uh, I don't know, we still have a uh, little bit of uh, time. Yeah, we have four minutes. But again, congrats everybody for entering. Yeah. I, you want to give it to everyone. We're going to kind of, we have some fun things in the works, by the way, uh, yeah. around things that you make. We want to highlight you more. So that stuff's coming soon. Look for that like next week. We're gonna, you know, put the spotlight on you is what we're trying to do. So uh, any more questions? Again, yeah. I think what we do need to do is maybe, um, you were gonna, what were you gonna share earlier? Were you trying to share a link of uh, assets? Of assets? Oh, it was uh, to, to get that thing uh, uh, from, from Dropbox. Why? I don't know. I you can you can share it. Up. Well, I mean, if you just send it Look, to him, he can. I'm, I'm starting to get the man bun. I'm looking like a very uh, Mexican samurai. <laughs> Mexican samurai. <laughs> <laughs> I just need the sword and and the tacos. <laughs> and the tacos. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm into cool. it. Yeah, and tomorrow, uh, I tomorrow I, I don't know what to do tomorrow, man. Yeah, uh, have we have a. We have some. I know we have some good ideas brewing. So essentially, yeah. it's going to be it's going to be really fun. I think we yeah. should kind of. I love that we took you know kind of went aside and worked in Adobe Ideas, which is cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll have something planned out. Yeah. Exciting, and we'll also have you help us drive it yeah. because that's what we've been doing today. Yeah. I think even for uh, the other guests, and just kind of remind you, we have Alice Scalfi up next. Did I yes. do it right? I say it right? I Alicia. said it correct. Mark yes. Ryzen as well. So we got two yeah. rock stars it's coming up. Fun. Uh, yeah. And they, they kind of worked through an app, and I think you had the audience help name it and things like that, which was really cool. So they have some fun things in store. Uh, Lex is up at 1 to 3, 3 to 5, Daniel Musa. So uh, you international crew in the house. Probably we could do something uh, related to Stephen Hawking tomorrow because oh, he, uh, that's he just recently uh, passed away. We can do something uh, like a, I don't know, inspirational quotes from Stephen Hawking. Uh, yeah, and we can things. even think about, I mean, yeah. I think of space and sort of like future looking things. Like, do we create an app that's. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll try to have something prepared, uh, prepared uh, related to Stephen Hawking. If you come tomorrow, probably you have some ideas too. We can do something on the fly related to that. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, I think okay. that sounds great. Well, thank you so much, Paul. Yeah, this I was think fun. we're good. Are we feeling good, Paco? All right. We're kind of out of time. Yeah. We will say, yeah, stay here. Stick around. Yes. Alice, Mark, up next. Stay tuned, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>